Yo Rana and welcome to FM Tahiti. I hope you're all doing well. Once again, apologies in advance if you hear any weird fan noises or whatever in the background. It's still really hot. I'm recording this on the same day as I did my last video. It's warm. I don't want to melt. So I also don't want my computer to melt if I can help it. So we've got the fan on in the background, but as far as I could tell in the last video, I couldn't really hear it because the new uh, microphone, so hopefully all is good here. We had the draws done for the O-League, so we've been drawn against Bar in the early quarter final, and we've also been drawn in the semi-final against either AS Magenta or Team Wellington. So probably Team Wellington if we get past Bar. We've got a little while to wait until then, so this is where the fixture list gets a little bit uh, thin. Uh, so we've got a couple of important matches. We're going to play the Maria match and the Sky Brights match. They're two kind of key matches in this episode. If we look at what's going on, it looks like we're sixth in the Premiership, because we are. Uh, but we've also got about two to three games in hand on some of the teams above us. So AS Chance and Humpbacks are joint top. 23 played, 50 points. Maria have got two games in hand on them. So I imagine Maria will... Jump up again because Maria were playing in the early just like us. Uh, Huahin 47, Taha 44, where they've played an extra game, so they'll drop off the pace, I think. And then we've got 21 played 38 points. So we've got Maria. This is a key one. We need to take points off them if we want to challenge them. Um, I have a feeling we're not. I think this is where we're going to come crashing back to reality after our kind of run against uh, the early teams who are a bit easier. So they've got Semi Gerard. He still looks pretty good to me, but he's not got the same kind of goal scoring record for them as he, he had for us when he was with the Humpbacks, but still decent. Um, seven and then 11 the past two seasons. Um, Hersig, we know about. Palanthorpe used to play for us all the way over at Ruritu. They're a good side. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, we'll go for that one. I don't really know what to say because I don't expect to win. We've not actually been playing that bad. It says, you know, address this poor in a form, but actually that's just referring to the league form, not our overall form. So our morale is actually quite good. I don't think that would have worked as a, as a suggestion. Robert Molina is quite good too. It's this Taku Arison, he's good. Yeah, he's good. So I'm sticking on a short list, shall we? Ersig used to play for us at Ruhr 2. I mean, he didn't really play much for us because we didn't give him an opportunity. Nicholas Bailey's alright. Stephen Dibbult. Glenn Palanthorpe. Decent uh, central defender. Molina with free kicks. Smith manages to palm it away. Ersig tries to follow it up. Good block. Talangaro getting involved there. Doing this. Bit of defensive work. What you want. Oh, and away he goes. Chitty's off. He just tried to sweep his leg completely. Right, Tamankara can be the, the single player at front there. Yeah, it has left us in a lurch. This isn't really the team we wanted to be a man down against, but I guess it's, at least it's a striker. Maybe we can squeeze out a draw or something. Chili Red. Yeah, so in theory, if we won our kind of two games in hand, that still wouldn't get us into the top two or anything like that. Um, we are a bit off the pace there, so before this match started, we were kind of 12 points behind. We had 50, we had 38. Yeah, we were definitely off the pace. Um, so yeah, I don't think the title's on the cards this season. I don't think we've got that kind of momentum to push us towards the finish line. And even if we did, we still need a lot of other teams to draw points. We need chance humpbacks maria 
Kuhin and Taha potentially, or maybe not Taha, um, to all drop some points. And even if you say, well, Huahin actually aren't that, that far ahead of us and Taha, it's still a chance on back some Maria needing to drop points, and they're good, good sides. Right, let's bring Shaber on for Tamangara, because he's got his shooting boots on recently. Kerr on for Spearling. Let's see how that goes. Just shook the mic on its stand. I don't know whether that actually gets this stand I've got for it, whether that actually gets rid of any of the, the vibrations properly or not, but you know, I came with it. I'm assuming it does something. Ray tries to get it out, not very far. Oh, it's going to go whip back in, isn't it? Maggie tries to get rid of it. We hold on for a draw. That's all right by me. As dull as this match may be, that will do. It does gem sort of demonstrate we don't have that cutting edge yet. We're not at that stage where we can compete with every team. I think we're a top five team, definitely, from the way we can play in the season. And some of the players we've got, like Manuel um, and Chidi, when he's actually on the pitch and he's not cool in his heels. That's not a penalty. That is not a penalty. What did he do? Good tackle the first time and then Wolf fell over. <sighs> Boo. Boo to that. Tristan Wolf. What? Well, there's nothing we can do because we've got four minutes of added time and if scored just after the four minutes, we've got, what, 30 seconds? 30 seconds for a goal? So it's done. I don't think we deserve to lose. A boring draw, yeah, definitely deserve that. But the loss was a little bit harsh. But whatever, maybe they're, you know, getting the rub of the green because they're going to be the champions. That's how it happens sometimes. Grind matches out and win them. That's what Moria have done. We've not done it. So we'll come back for our next match, which will be against the Skybrights. But hopefully we'll be able to pick up some points. We'll be able to get a better idea of where we are or where we should be in the table. Okay, so we're back against the Skybrights. You can see the table here. And backs, 24 played, 53 points. Moria behind them by a point with the game in hand. So it's getting very competitive there. Uh, what we can up to do is kind of get involved in the conversation a little bit. I don't think we will, but we want to finish strong. And let's get Shaber off because he's injured and bring on Datu. He's not actually played a match. I've never got around to actually playing him. He doesn't look great, but maybe he deserves a bit of a chance. Maybe he'll come off the bench uh, for this one. Oh, while this is on. Skybrights, I think we should be able to beat. They're down towards the bottom half of the table. We got Wilkinson who used to play for us. Um, anyone else? Well, Daniel's quite good. We tried to get him a few times, I think. Right, let's see how we get on. We do need to try and. I think I said before in the last match, we're not form wise, we're not technically that bad because we had those wins in the early league. So he has some, a good run there. Oh, Maggie almost in. Snuck that one in. Everyone's smacking against the defence. Uh, yes, yeah, so we had those that run. But in the league, we lost to Moria. We lost to the Humpbacks. We lost or drew another match as well. So like our past record in the league is not fantastic right now. You need to try and address this. And this is one of our get sort of games in hand as well. So it kind of brings us general. Oh, there we go. Tamangara. You have to jump a bit for that one as well. He's already a fairly tall lad. Oh, what a throw in. There we go. That's some proper Rory de Lap style throw in, isn't it? I do love a good long throw in. When I've done the kind of stats analysis of my um, team and the attributes that kind of linked success, 
one of the things I tend to find is that long throws are linked to the amount of goals scored or chances created. Um, just because of the way I've set up my uh, set pieces. So I do go for a lot more long throws. So it is kind of important um, to that and it's kind of successful. It's one of those kind of no brainer relationships that the data kind of will get a little slick little past that by Jean Baptiste. See, it's an obvious kind of relationship, but it's kind of pleasing to see that it is working the way it's meant to work. Muller and Smith. Let's see if we can launch an attack from here. Maggie's going to go along, he's got to. Wallace is free. Had no support and he's just off the pace. He's not the fastest anymore, is Wallace. He's not even that old, he's just not fast. Good pass by Lance. Let's spread it wide. Ray's going to try and get it in. Tamangaro's. Oh, Jean Baptiste. Say Tamangaro was looking for another one. He didn't need to. Jean Baptiste had that pile driver from the edge of the area. Ray gets a good ball in. Tamangaro is almost getting another one there. Yeah. One touch. Uh, one of the things I was asked in a comment recently. Um, um, from one of the previous videos was what's the plan? So after we win this uh, league or the title with um Tatangegi, what's what next? Um I think first of all I don't think we are going to. I think we are a little way off that. But I think we're gonna win the title this year. We maybe might win it next year. Definitely the year after that I would expect. Because of the money potentially coming in if we win the early league or something. Uh, which we've not done but you know, it's, it's, it's helpful. If, you know, in the long run, the plan could involve some money coming in from there. There's the potential for that. Um, but yeah, in the next two to three seasons, I think we will win the title. We will maybe win the early league in the next two to three seasons. Should win the Inter Island Cup at that some point as well, if we can. So a bit of silverware coming in for the wings. But the question is, what next? What do I do? And I think I've, I'm, I've either got to stick with um, the wings, get the money in, build the squad up. Oh, good free kick by Spearling. 3-0 and then we're away. After bringing a few players soon, Oops, bring some subs. Yeah, I'd have to stick with the wings, get the money in, maybe get a youth set up, actually set up. So we get some youth players through, we can start supporting ourselves. Um, and just build a team that's going to dominate like we were starting to do with the humpbacks just do that with the wings um, and see if we can make a splash on the international stage with Gambier make a difference there or maybe with any of the teams but Gambier would be the one that makes more sense because we could have an impact on the youth intake potentially uh, but that would be a couple of seasons down the line because we'd need money from another girl for Jean-Baptiste Let's bring on some subs now. It's Kerr on for Spearling, Minnan on for Frey, let's bring on Nagata for Wallace. Yeah, there'll be a few seasons down the line because so we'd need to improve our facilities to see that we need money. To get money, we need to win the O League and have it be in the bank for a suitable amount of time. Um, by that, I mean we need to you know, be making money for a suitable amount of time. Winning the O League once probably isn't going to be enough money considering the financial situation to actually uh, make a difference so make all these changes we need to the infrastructure to start making a, an impact okay lamb's injured push min and back we've got no subs we can bring on so we have no choice but to do that or the alternative if we don't stick with the wings well, Tamangara looks offside to me, but whatever. Uh, the other option is to take a squad that's already got good infrastructure. So we could go back to the humpbacks, maybe, um, if they'd have us. Or we could go to another team in Tahiti 
uh, where they've got some infrastructure and take over like a Tahiti based side because their team's already their national team's already got to the World Cup. If we want a chance of having some success, they've got a better base to work from. They've got a bigger player pool. They might have more resources. If it's a team that's been in the Premiership for a while, then they'll have a better rep, better attendance, better cash flow. So it's kind of that we either stick with the wings and build them up, which will take a bit longer, or we move on to another side and quickly get success with them and then build from there. I don't want to go down to the championship. I don't want to go down to the gold or anything like that. Um, because it just takes too long. And it's what, August now. We've got a couple of months. Um, just over two months until FM20 is probably released. And whilst I'll play this for as long as I need to play this, um, so we come to a kind of natural point. So I'll start playing FM20. It's really difficult to go back once you've got into the next version. So I want to reach a good kind of end point, ideally, by that point. Right, so 5-0. Let's have a look and see what this has done to the table. Didn't really talk much about that match. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Bugger. That's what happens when you don't pay attention. I was already thinking about you know, the table and stuff like that, and I've just irritated the entire team with a bad team talk. Hopefully it won't affect them too badly. Well, have anyone coming to talk to me about it? No, no one's there to complain. That's fine. Um, oh, never mind. We'll see if that has any impact. So there we go. We've got 23 played. We're still 6. We've got 41 points. We are 6 behind Taha, but they played 2 more. Us. So we could end up on 47, just like them. But we're also nine behind Chance, where we've got the same amount played. Nine behind Who Are He, and we've got a game in hand on, so like could be six. We are, what, 11 behind uh, Moria, same amount played. And we are 12 behind Rotu, we've got, we've got a game in hand on, so be nine. It's a big gap. We've only got, what, seven games left to play? No, that is not true. We have got five games left to play. We've only got 15 points to play for if I'm right. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Five left. We've only got 15 points. The most we can finish on then is 56. The title's pretty much an impossibility at this stage. Uh, interesting though, I'm looking at this screen. See, Yannin's got 15 goals for Taha this season. The goal machine's doing it for someone else. It's 15 league goals as well. He's got one, one extra cup goal, so it's not that a big a difference. But he's, he's done all, all right since moving to Taha. Maybe Taha's where we go if we need to. Right, so we'll end that there. Uh, we'll probably come back for this bar match. The title's not going to happen. We'll know by the time we come back for the bar match, I'll be able to tell you whether it's still on or not. And um, chances are it will, will still be on. Uh, so the OCL is the only kind of silverware we've got left to play for, apart from the Pride trophy right at the end of the season uh, so thanks for watching as always and i'll see you in the next episode